In this tutorial, we'll look at tracking the profit and loss of an order. The Profit and Loss tab details all costs and payments associated with the order, including the item cost, as well as channel commissions and the actual shipping costs. Let's look at each item on the Profit and Loss tab. The item cost includes the cost of purchasing the item from the vendor, as well as any shipping or third-party costs incurred to get the item to you. Vendor discounts are factored into the cost of an item. The item cost can be calculated as a fixed cost or with a weighted average. These two options are explained in another video tutorial. SellerCloud saves the item cost with the order details so that it will show the cost of the item as it was at the time of the order. Clicking on the item cost will open an editing window where you can adjust the cost of the item by editing the cost. The posting fee is the amount a channel charges for listing the item. The commission line displays the dollar amount the channel took from the proceeds of the sale. This can also be referred to as the final value fee. Transaction fees are the costs associated with processing a payment, like a PayPal fee. On the Payment Settings page under Company Settings, you can enable this setting to include credit card fees into the transaction cost. Set the fee percentage value here. Shipping costs refer to the amount you paid to ship the item to the customer, regardless of whether the customer paid for shipping. If you do not calculate the exact shipping cost at the time of order creation, or if you are not sure that the shipping weight and dimensions were entered correctly, you can import the exact shipping amounts based on the shipping invoice sent to you by the shipping carrier. In the Orders menu, select Import Shipping Costs. Download the template and populate the columns with either the order ID or the tracking number, and enter the shipping cost. Save the file. Now, click the import link for the carrier you are reconciling. Select the file and click Import Shipping Cost. Currently, SellerCloud handles formats for UPS, UPS Mail Innovations, and DHL Global. Sales tax is shown here. Rebates refer to vendor rebates that are credited to the seller when the item is sold. This value reduces the cost of an order. Rebates can be configured on the product level by clicking on Rebates on a product detail page. The order cost is the sum total of all costs associated with the order. The payment line shows the total amount the customer paid, including shipping. The bottom line displays the order's profit, totaled as a dollar amount. When an item is sold in an international marketplace, the Profit and Loss tab will display all costs and payments, both in the currency that was used for the purchase and in the currency configured in the default company, which in this case is US dollars. SellerCloud checks the currency conversion rate once a day and saves the rate at the time of the order with the Order Details page. Clicking on this icon will open a window that shows the profit and loss in greater detail. For example, this order consists of four SKUs, so the grid will show each SKU on a separate row. The cost and revenue of the entire order are total on the bottom row. The first six columns are really three pairs of two columns, with each pair relating to one property of an item. Columns that reference a unit refer to a value of one unit of the SKU. Columns referencing a site refer to the value of all units of that SKU in the order. The first two columns refer to the cost of the item in the order. These values are the cost of the item at the time of the purchase. The third and fourth columns are the current cost of the item. The next two columns refer to the selling price of the item. At the very end of the grid is the profit of the order both in dollar and percentage formats. When an order has been refunded, an additional column will appear, showing the refunded amount. Because a replacement order sends a new item to the customer, SellerCloud will calculate the profit and loss separately from the original order. If no payment is made on the replacement order, the Profit and Loss tab will only show the order costs. Under the Reports tab, you can find many other reports relating to profit and loss, including the Product Profit Report, where you can see the profits for every order generated by sales of this product. For more information on the Profit and Loss tab, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.